advertisement good, you need to make it more convincing. We're not seriously flying. Unlike either. Warner Brothers, which is bullshit, and they scuff great ideas, and they just keep the plane shit. That's not how Where Disney has been making more content Anyways, sure looks worse and making more money with all awesome storytelling. Which, by the way, I love Moon Knight, Werewolf by Night, Loki, What If, and WandaVision. Great storytelling right fucking there. Warner Brothers got jack shit. Disney's got the goods, baby. It's got the love. It's got all that awesomeness. Movie storytelling. Symbolic telling of mental health. I actually love World by Night because to me it's it's like in a working environment. So you gotta make good content. And Winter Brothers here. What? This way we can scope things out before. I mean what happened to Batgirl? Seriously. Come on. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. On all nights and all days. Just fucking rain! I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle oh, isn't that far! That is not a castle, it is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Is it? <laughs> Let's just get closer! Let's Here not and just way. continue on. Alright, baby. Let's there keep going on with out. the going Those on, honey. We'll easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Thank you. Right? The fact you ain't sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mom. Ouch. I really Please hope this game is kind of kind of duty to Spider-Man. They should do something with Venom. Seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team Mikey Trip. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. We must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitari trainer to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Okay. Upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's not just some lady. Lady Hellbender is a known warrior. And a queen. <laughs> hey! Oh no. Oh no! Yikes! I feel like I'm in the snoodle zone. Like I'm in a frickin' noodle, baby. Everyone okay? I'm baby, baby. I'm all supposed to know that all those noodles would go us in the slime pit. By this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Our guys. Um, that looks not sure. It ain't moving now. No, it's not. I would be wary, Rodin. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. Hey, alone! It's not alone. Uh oh. Get ready. Oh, it's not alone. Uh -oh. <clears throat> All right, we're in shit now, baby. They keep oh wait. Are commendable, Rex. Jelly's on the offensive. candy. Beats me. It's, it's like chewable candy cane, or no, no, it's like, uh, perhaps these were sent by Lady Hellbender. I think you've got better things to do. Broken deck. Six more critters to add to our collection, boys. It's just soaking up everything we throw at it. We need to wrap this bike to side! Forget the jelly! Let's 
Shelly is charging! Let's him rock it! Woohoo! Oh dear gosh! Thank you, Drax. Food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? No spells, shoot stuff. Words to live by. Having fun? Didn't think I'd ever be shooting out a resistance ship. There's a trail going through the jungle. Try to find a way up. This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk, seeing as we're about to climb it and all. Clearly not a husk. Great. We made it halfway up. Now what? Maybe if we could lower that wing somehow. There they are. Wing controls. All right, Rocket. That wing control panel's all yeah, yours. Yeah, the tech savvy dude, you do it. Works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. That'll do it. Oh boy. What the flark? That don't s You wrote this? Okay. Careful. Oh, like we got little fingerprints. More of a four footprints. If you see anything with claws the size of tracks, let me know. I thought we already had our monster. What's she tracking this thing for? Or sport? Nothing wrong with a little. Sp let me guess. Some kind of monster thing. Good guess. Well done. Any chance it doesn't know we're here? Nope. Only question is, which one of us it'll jump first? It's probably not. Gonna jump us. Mm-hmm. This jungle is majestic. In an everything's trying to kill you sort of way, sure. That is precisely why it is majestic. That's a great reason why. Ooh, mysterious. Found something quilt. <laughs> yeah, some and hello, mystery goo. Monster eggs. Yay. Okay, so note to self. If it looks like a monster cave and smells like a monster cave, and you're on a monster planet... Don't go in it! the two of us. What's up? Uh, you're busy exploring. Just meet me in the main cave when you're done looking around. All right. Are you two coming? Yeah, just a sec. Yes, mommy, we're, we're coming. coming. Whoop. Ah, I'm so Because, uh... <laughs> I really need to talk to you. There's something, um, personal. I need to get off my chest. What's going on? Look, 
I'm not sure about this whole selling Groot thing. Rocky, we've been over this. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, but what if it's not? What if something bad happens? Groot's the only real family I got, Quill. He's the only one who's accepted me for me. Groot offered to do this. And if Gamora offers to tell a joke, you're just gonna assume it's funny? Not sure I get where it... I'm saying Groot ain't built for scheming. He ain't no monster. We don't know that. It's obvious! Maybe to you. But three out of five of us think he's monster enough. Uh -huh. So give him a chance. He knows what he's doing. Fine. Have it your way. Come on. The sooner we get the Lady Hellbender, the sooner we can focus on paying that stupid fine. Easy for you to say. You ain't the one getting auctioned out. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. We're fine. You worry too much. He's just a little big... He's just a big brother who's afraid of his little brother with... with giantism. And I'm not making fun of it. I think Groot can be a symbolic representation of... You sure you want to get lost out here? Peter Quill, I have found the way forward. You sure, Drax? No. Good enough. <laughs> this is further proof that we are not welcome here. If we turn back every time we ain't wanted, we never go anywhere. Good point. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Her name is Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience with her, we will have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn it refers to. <laughs> what about her sister, Nebula? Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a Harlot. Right, right. That, too. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. Tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle? I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face. Put me down. We're not throwing rocket. Very well. You sons of forking chalks! Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just leave it. What's your problem? My problem is Meathead trying to huck me over a cliff. You are overreacting. I did not throw you. Only because Quill stopped you. And there should be no problem. I'm watching you. Shooting your way out of every problem again, Peter? I'm trying to. Yeah! Wow! It is dark in here! If you bump into any monsters, let us know! Monster Planet! Right! Yes, honey, I will! Hey! My shooting's not aimless! Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism! Hey! 
I found more ruins down here. A miracle it's still standing in these storms. Drax, think you can topple this? <clears throat> I may have angered them. Them? We're being hunted. Great. That's just... All right. Let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pokemon. They do. They really do. What's that? What's that one Pokemon I'm thinking of that they look like? Someone, please tell me. Anybody at all? Oh crap! Turned around as well. Where the flock are we? Just look around. Why are we so sure this is the way? The statues here didn't walk into place. They were carried. Carried? By whom? For what purpose? I thought you were supposed to be the Lady Hellbender expert. All right, Gamora. Pretty sure it's this way. Fifty units says it ain't. He doesn't have fifty units. I. No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. She possesses flying creatures. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Ah, I have not heard that one. I heard there are actually nine of her. That's why they call it Seknarf Nine. Ha! <laughs> that, that is preposterous. That one's preposterous. What's Shatari Tech doing on a backwater mud ball like this? Perhaps Lady Hellbender repelled an invading swarm, and it was among the spoils. Maybe. Or maybe she was real cozy with the bug. Gamora, am I cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender... Thank you, Gamora. Piece of her oh, an old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships. Or one Chitari infiltrator. I'll take that one as a compliment. Now what the whole fear? No. Just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Me and Groot are the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and plan B. Just go. No, you just go. go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Uh. <laughs> Let's see. see, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Just wait for it, guys. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. 
Just wait for it, my lovelies. It gets worse. It gets horrible. It gets worse. Yes, and then you lose. It. Oh, jeez. That must be her says pet. There's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Oh, no. Yup, definitely saw the giant head. Peter! Oh, Peter! No. Woohoo! Yay! Back on top, honey. Oh, yeah. Nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. This plant off, don't know You're me. Not alone here. Nope. I got it. Oh shit. A monster. Uh oh. He's running away. Put that its tail between its legs. <laughs> I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Hold, and they were shooting these things out of the sky. <laughs> See anything useful up there? I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. Our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. Got it, Drax. You can put it down here. This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Yes! That is why I can easily carry this great weight. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. I see. I see. No, John. I wonder if I can get down there. Here goes nothing. Woo! <laughs> that was fun. Did he perish? Hey, Quill. You dead? No! Wow! <laughs> I'm alive! Hey, Gamora, could you pull me over? What if you wedge your sword in the crack? Ooh, right here. Wedge it in. All right. Is this good? Hey, you think he's stuck? Perhaps. Oh, come on. Yeah, any sign of the giant thing in the ravine? Oh, yeah. We made a deal. He can eat fruit first. Just messing with you, bud. Can we get to the top of the ship now? Right there's good. Understood. What next, Peter Quill? Huh? Can 
you get up there now? Should only take a second. This brings back memories! Mmm. Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I am Groot. I helped in spirit. <laughs> All right. Slippery wind pummeled treetops, here we come. Uh, you know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. <laughs> we are not committed to safety. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. Took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. And she has not yet tried to kill us. How come you never give me credit for anything? Like he said, he gives credit where credit is due. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's gotten bigger, that's for sure. Ha! <laughs> it is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Thanks, Drax. Looks like there's a way down here. Quill, you gotta see this ship. Behold Lady Hellbender's wrath. Even the Chitauri feared her. They didn't fear many back then. What's Captain distracted up to now? If he calls us over, I'm done. Whoa, 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 guys! There's this totally sweet pile of crap on the ground. So interesting. Let's all stick our fingers in it. I can hear you downwind. I thought he was going to say stick our fingers up our butts. For it. Here we go. Uh, guys. You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam, boys? <clears throat> you think? Son of a schmack, reach! A sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. <clears throat> Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! Like what? Flark, flark, flark. <sighs> Well, <laughs> these guys powers like Danny Phantom. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, baby. By my Danny Phantom Ice Powers. Ghost Powers, you know. Am I telling us what happened? I don't know. My blasts, they... I only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, it pulls scut like this. Just come on, you... Leave the let guns me, alone! Me, I, I, Quill, I just want to see how they tick, otherwise it might as well be magic. Or sorcery. Guys! DNA coded in the next cup with some kind of morphing nano animal. Or sorcery. Here we go again. Ha! It's an ice cube! That's fun! We're so happy for you and your guns, Quill! Both sides, remember? Whereas me, I don't need to take sides to mow anybody down. I just love making scumbusters go boom! 
You know what I see when I look at that battlefield? I see all of you. I'm mesmerized. Mesmerized? What? Seriously. You make me want to fight 24 hours a day. So what do you say we run these guys to the ground, huh? Who's with me? We are that the was well unique. For your sword, assassin! Just what we needed! Another species of these things! They will perish just as the others did! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> it was either you or the jelly box! We're close! Glad it was the jelly We're gonna box. need to get up there. I'm thinking we can climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star! Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. It'd be a planetary. You got this, Groot? I... Don't ask him to do weird stuff. Wonder if we can get anything to pop out of the side of that wreck. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. Gamora, can you reach that cannon? I can, but I won't be able to get it out if that's what you want. Ah, impossible. It will not stay in place. You couldn't just hold it for a while. Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out. Trust me. You gotta find a way to lock it in place. Uh, I cannot... Hold it forever! I did it! Impressive, Peter Quill. Now we gotta get the next one out. <laughs> Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Flark it. I'm blowing it up. What? Hang on. Think about all the booby traps and... Look at it go! He must have jump-started the thing. Rocket, you okay? <laughs> yeah, and dry now, too. Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Sure. <clears throat> yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, man. Another murder tentacle. Careful. It might be playing dead. <sighs> On. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! <laughs> you are dead! Dead! No! How many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rocket. Ridiculous. You were holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. So dis nice disrespect oh, people. I'll show you what a lesson looks like. Knock it off, guys. We're supposed to be professionals. We're better than this. I'm not. Any of these Chitari installations stop our progress is unprofessional. Then stop wasting time arguing. We'll find another way across. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh. Anybody else smell that? It's really thick. 
stink back here. Yes, it smells putrid. <sighs> Where is it coming from? Oh, what the fuck? Yep, definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. <gasps> that is disturbingly fragrant. It looks like good pee. Good hearing this. Oh my gosh! Hello? It's like we're on a Uranus planet. Ooh, like fluffy. Ew. Ew. No, okay. Okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Undivided uh, attention. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Uh, cause it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter. Why would it taste like that? We can use this. Well, we really monster food? Taste, the cage! You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our... with our monster peacefully walking beside us? We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? Uh, the more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Where's the beast? Let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Yeah, like in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, when he jumped in from the inside and was scratching the monster's innards, which didn't really work. And now all these monsters. I hate this flarking planet! You hate everything, Rocket. True. But especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with you. Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way. But I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth the effort. For you, maybe. I love easy. Oh, suck 
snarf ain't never heard of roads? You'd have to clear parts of the jungle to do it, which would probably mean killing some of the wildlife. Good. They deserve it. Seknoff 9 is a sanctuary. They say that if you leave behind a single piece of refuse, Lady Hellbender will personally return it to you in the most unpleasant way. That can't be true. <laughs> Deep freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas blast! So if we're gonna haggle with the Monster Queen, how much are we asking for our monster? What do you mean, don't get greedy? We're running a business here. We need to make a profit this time. Hey, Quill, better not forget what we talked about earlier. It's not. Don't worry, Rocket. <laughs> no, it ain't. What did the tree say? He says all this moisture is good for us and will make us grow. Grow as a team. Love and bond, baby. Love and bond. Yes, oh yes. Yes, queen. What the fuck? <clears throat> you said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already has a whole herd of them? So we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If we even got that far. What if we'd been towing that thing when Novacore intercepted us? They would have taken our beast. See? This is working out. Sure, in a kind of bumpy, chaotic way, but we've still got a plan. I love how Peter is just so optimistic, and I love how he's very energetic and always staying upbeat. It's beautiful, man. saying I can handle a little solo extraction no offense but you ain't exactly invested in my safe return my skin my plan your call Peter but Clark it is I'm the one in the box lady Peter Quill is our leader the burden of your possible death falls on his shoulders since I was for sure listening I'm gonna go with Gamora's solo whatever you're gonna let her just go in alone and steal me back. I am? I, I mean, no, I am. I've done this sort of thing a hundred uh, times. Are you serious? Guess we're going to find Mostly. out. Mostly. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. I am Groot. Bonafide monster sellers. Today, anyway. What's in the box? A monstrous abomination from Halfworld and the meanest SOB in the Quadrant. Pass. Pass? Rocket. I mean, Things puny. It is a hell beast, the namesake of your mistress. It would be wise to reconsider. All right, get going before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Hell beast? It is an accurate moniker. The little beast has a hellish demeanor. I like it. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. I would show more caution, Peter Quill. If Lady Hellbender realizes our deceit, her vengeance will be swift. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell in her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. The Monster Queen has a monster army. Any chance they're the zookeepers? With guns? I have never seen an Orthos tamed, but I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Your genius plan is run away? Backup plan? They're all monster mash. <clears throat> oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Because Quill flies like a one-eyed badoon. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. 
Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chased across the galaxy level of no, at least. Wow! Look at this place! I'm in the wrong line of work! It is appropriately impressive for a warrior of Lady Hellbender's stature. Someday, that's gonna be ours. Ha! <laughs> not yours. Come over near the cave, and say that again. Focus, guys. Time to get those game faces on. I am Groot? He means you gotta sell the illusion, too. Exactly. A Galeran skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Oh! Explains the vault. Priceless? Vault? Screw the sneaking around. Let's pull off a good, honest heist. No! no! Follow me and pay attention. You will not approach Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, you will remain still. No erratic movements. I am humbled by my queen's confidence. Spare me your empty platitudes. Apologies, my queen. I meant no offense. I know what you meant. Do not play me for a fool. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. Uh, you, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would-be con artist. I assure you, I said, milady. release it. We got this. Uh-oh. Look at the little guy! Oh, he's so... Oh... Oh, no! Whoa! That's a lapdog right there! Oh, crap! Oh! Oh, no! The poor guy! Look at him! Oh, no! Look at her! Bring in the next seller and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of kin. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And such flesh. Hmm. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected, then. 